Do you ever feel stuck like you're living your life on autopilot? Are you ready to shift into high gear and reach the success you so richly deserve? Welcome to the Play Big Movement podcast. I am your host, Sharon Lecter, entrepreneur, business strategist, and best-selling author. Playing big is not about settling for good enough or being comfortable. It is about reaching your highest potential and achieving your greatest success. Join me in my Play Big Movement as I interview top experts in business, money, and entrepreneurship, all ready to serve you and to help you play big, be number one in your field, live your legacy, and create maximum impact. Welcome everybody to this segment of the Play Big Movement podcast with Sharon Lecter. And I'm excited today because I get to meet somebody, two new somebodies. And usually I talk about how long we've known each other. And so now you've known them almost as long as I have. And I'm excited because I haven't, I'm surprised our paths have not crossed before because we're basically have the same shared passion. So I'm excited to have Tim Rode and Pat Hyben with me today. And they have a lot of things in their past that have gotten them to where they are today from real estate investing, New York Times bestselling authors. But together, they wrote the book Tribe of Millionaires, which I just downloaded. So I'm excited to read that uh, on my next plane ride, which is tomorrow. And then they've also created a group of um, individuals that are millionaires that do all kinds of adventures together and really share, have shared passions. And so I'm excited to learn more about that. And a lot of their content, they talk about this group for men, but I know they also have a group for women. So we're going to learn a little bit more about that. So welcome, Tim and Pat. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with me today. Thanks, Sharon. This is going to be fun. Well, I'm Absolutely. excited because I, as I said, as I'm reading your bios and I'm going, wow, I can't, I can't believe we haven't crossed paths before. So tell us a little bit about Tim and Pat before you came together and what brought you together? Go ahead, Tim. Okay, well, Pat and I are very similar, you'll hear in our stories. We both candidly came from, from I'm not gonna say nowhere, but, but weren't handed much to, to get out the door in life and we're self-made. Um, mm -hmm. I found myself a part-time grocery clerk at 25, just surviving. Uh, just getting by, I found my niche selling real estate. I sold 2,500 homes over the next 18 years. What I did differently than most is I lived like a grocery clerk. And I learned a lot about investing, how to invest wisely. And I was able to tap out, uh, turn my cash flow game board over at 40, uh, financially free. And then for about 10 years, I was at, my mom called it my walking in the woods phase, figuring out what <laughs> What am I going with all of this? And, uh, and, and I met Pat right at the start of that 10-year period. And I'll let Pat tell his piece, and then we can take it from there. Well, I think the commonality, uh, first and foremost, that we had was, um, you know, believing that, y you know, as human beings, we're not meant to just keep working, keep working, keep working, that we should be, you know, creating horizontal lines of income, passive income, and kind of live off of those uh, things, have our money make money for us rather than trading time for money. And, and, uh, and I met Tim at a investment seminar. I was a real estate agent at the time. A majority of my life I've been a real estate agent. And uh, luckily I invested while I was an agent and I was able to grow my investment so that I could stop being a real estate agent and kind of walk in the woods like, Tim taught me actually, but when I met Tim, um, you, you know, we had that commonality and then, and then as we grew together and we added our third partner, David Osborne, um, you, you know, things just expanded as far as uh, helping each other stay accountable to things like health, to our marriages, to uh, giving back to those around us. Um, in addition to adding lines of horizontal income and I, and I think that the most fun we have now, or one of the most fun things we do, the three of us do together and separately is, uh, it's kind of like we live in a room of furniture and we're constantly moving the furniture around and those, that furniture is our investments, right? Our, our you know, apartment buildings, our, our venture capital, angel investments, our, our houses, uh, just 
you know, just a lot of that going on constantly with the one thought in mind is how can we get the most return so we don't have to work so that our money works for us. And, and, uh, and, it, and it's created a lifelong friendship. Well, that's exciting. And tell me a little bit about the tribe of millionaires, the book. Go ahead, Tim. Well, it's, it's a book we just wrote, Tribe of Millionaires, available at tribeofmillionaires.com. And it's a wonderful story of our tribe, GoBundance, which is at GoBundance.com, um, told in an amazing manner. If you like the book, The Alchemist, you'll love Tribe of Millionaires. And, and the story is based on a guy named Ethan Martinez, who's kind of at his wit's end, and he's, and he's uh, just challenged in life. And a turn of events happens where he's introduced to our tribe and he learns the six lessons of the tribe of millionaires. And that's, and, and those are uh, woven throughout the story. It's an amazing story told in a fun way, all about the value of the connection of the, you know, basically the five people who you're surrounded with and what a tribe can do for your life. Absolutely. And, and people watching and listening, we probably have all been at that point where there are a, a level of frustration and it is, we talk about it in the cash flow quarter, we talk, you, know, you hear from a lot of people, you are the sum total of the five people you hang out with. And it is so true, your environment and putting, placing yourself in the position of highest potential. And so what I love about what you guys have done is you really have, you've brought it down to that power of association by creating this tribe um, you have over 200 members, I believe, right now, where you really are there as a as a community to support each other and also to do some fun things together. So before we get into your six pillars, let's talk about the organization that you created and share a little bit more about that. Because I know it was for men, but you also have something for women. So Yes, indeed. And by the way, I, I wrote that down, placing yourself in the position of highest potential. I'm using that on every podcast that I go on from now on, if that's okay with you, Sharon. That's, I love that, Just man. Just give me credit the first time. Yeah, I will, the first time. <laughs> that's After that's mine. I'm getting it tattooed and everything, yeah. Um, that, that's awesome. Um, Watch, he will do that, Sharon. <laughs> Just send so, me a picture of the tattoo, all right? I will. Um, all right, so, so what happened was Tim and David and I uh, would take trips together and, and we, we like to do epic things. So we, we'd go to far off places and we'd always be talking about money and we'd always be talking about health and, and everything that was important to us. And, and then we started inviting other people and then the more people we invited, everybody said yes. Like it was very rare. I mean, it was one time where we had to like limit, I think when we, when we hiked Mount Whitney, there was a couple of people wanted to go and you were like, no, we can only bring one person each. And, um, and, uh, that was Tim's rule. Cause he always has rules when we hike. But, um, <laughs> so, so, so what happened was we we're like, uh, let's, uh, actually Tim and I and David went and looked at uh, dollar general stores to buy. And we looked at like $12 general stores all throughout Texas. And, um, and during that trip, we had an epiphany just driving late one night um, that we should just start charging money for it and then just uh, letting everybody come in. And, and so we did. In the first year, we had, I think, 36 people. The first real year where we charged money was like 36 people joined. And then it just grew from there. And it's only been a five-year run or so, but we're already over 200 members and our retention is phenomenal. Um, our, it's just, there's just something that you get out of finally finding other people. It took, it took me over half my life and Tim's too, to find each other, you know, other people that get it on a high level. Um, and uh, I think our members kind of like, wow, you know, these, everybody in this tribe thinks like I do. And so, um, and so just this year, we um, came out with GoBundance Women. There's 42 women already in the first year. And, and although they, you know, women think differently than men, they, they have some of, of, you know, a lot of the same uh, theme runs throughout GoBundance Women, obviously. But it, the reason that we separate the sexes is because it, it lends to a much higher level of authenticity. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can speak for guys, you know, guys aren't as likely to get up there and spill their guts or, 
or talk about their troubles with their marriage or, or, or even troubles with their finances, um, you know, with the opposite sex around right or wrong. It, 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 it is, it is a, a fact. So, um, so it lends to that and people tend to be more authentic and, and we have a lot of fun and I know that girls are having a lot of fun. I know they just went to Nashville and, you know, partied with country music stars and did all kinds of cool stuff. So anyways, it's, uh, it's, it's growing fast and, 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 and we're very happy about it. And we just wrote the book and the book is doing extremely well. It's only been out a week and we're over a thousand copies already that, that have been, um, gotten for free at tribeofmillionaires.com and or Amazon where people actually paid $20 for it. Um, so big things to come. Well, that's exciting. Well, I'll put in a plug, check out our ranch. If you want to do a little city slickers weekend, cherrycreeklodge.com. Bring your folks out here. We've had uh, um, lots of people come and uh, hang out. We've got horseback riding, shooting, fishing, um, a little, it's a, totally off the grid, all solar power on well water and a little piece of American history where there's a famous gun battle. So check well, it out. Well, yeah, we'll definitely, we'll put that on the Go Abundance Women uh, website. And you know what, I will recommend you too as a speaker for their next event. Mm -hmm. That yeah. might, that's a, I love that idea. I want to go back to give them all thinking. Growth. Jim, you can't come in. You can't come inside, but we're still, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So let's talk about your six pillars that you guys live by. And then now that you share with your tribe um, that you share in, um, and what we actually pulled it off the woman's website, but age defying health. And that's obviously keeping yourself healthy. Talk a little bit about each of them for us. Well, let me start with that one. I'm about to turn 60 years old um, next month. And, and earlier this year, I led a group to hike and ski Mount Shasta. And uh, it's a 7,000 foot climb with skis on, you know, like a 70 pound pack and stuff. And I think that speaks to the age to find health piece. And, it, and it's all about being healthy in your mind, body, and spirit in order to, you know, self-actualize into the best person you can be, which ties directly into the other five pillars. Absolutely. And, um, you, you're both married. I think you referenced that. So have you, you know, my husband and I are celebrating 39 years. So you talk about authentic relationships. So I imagine that is both in business and personal. So speak a little bit to that. Go ahead, Pat. Yeah. So 27 for me, I just, uh, we just uh, took a two week trip to Switzerland because our 25th got canceled uh, on the actual date. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm a big believer in, in, in this tattoo here, which is love is spelled T I M E. That's I my uh, that's my uh, children's um, birthstones there, and uh, we're some crayon colors. And uh, so uh, you know, we try to live by that motto at uh, Abundance. Love is spelled time, and we try to be conscious of spending quality time with our spouse and our families. Focus time, not distracted. Uh, which is hard for everybody, and especially nowadays. And I think more than ever, it's um, it's an important theme to keep reiterating uh, amongst each other. So um, that's kind of how we start with authentic relationships. Tim, and if I could add on to that, there's also we have um, go wives. The our, our wives go on trips. There's a thing called Fambundance where we're teaching the same principles to our kids. And these kids have been together now for like three or four years. And it's almost like we're creating a counterculture of can-do kids. There's a 15-year-old girl in there with five, with five income streams. So, and, and uh, yeah, and there's just a lot of really cool things that have blossomed um, out of each pillar. That, uh, go back to the age-defined health. There's a group that runs Ironman triathlons every year, you know, and it's just, it, we, we take a concept and tribe members take that on as their own and lead the growth of each thing. So it's just a, you know. You create the opportunity and they seize what works for them, right? Um, so talk about VIP play and adventure. I think that speaks to a lot of one of the, you talk about your very, your bucket list items, something that I've been 
embarked on for the last five or six years. I'm down to my last three, all the wonders of the world we've what? and I have visited. So I need to find out about, so of, of what, the seven wonders? Well, there's the seven ancient, the seven modern, the seven natural. There's actually four different categories. Yeah, that's kind of a scam, isn't it? They keep adding categories, no, right? I wonder. So, so I'm curious, have you done all? But So there's, there's like 28 and you've done 20. Yeah. Well, there's 28. Four or five don't exist anymore, like Atlantis. So of the original ancient ones. But of all the ones that still exist, we're down to just three. And that's... Machu Picchu, which it was supposed to be this year, but just like you, my thing, I celebrate my 25th anniversary on the 29th and my 30th on the 34th. So we're hitting 39 in September. So apparently we're still, something's working right. And then, um, so Machu Picchu, um, let's see, uh, Victoria Falls in Africa and Petra in Jordan, which of course is a security issue these days, but those are the only ones I have left. That's fascinating. We did we did two of the two of those three as GoBundance trips. We did the Victoria Falls a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. and uh, we did Machu Picchu about three years ago. I want to see the twenty eight list though. Can you? I've can, got, yeah. Can I you email have, that to me and Tim. I'd love sure, to see it. Yeah, I have a Life magazine. They did a special feature. That's wonderful. Four or five years ago, where they highlighted all of them. So I want to see that. Yeah. Use that that'd, as that'd my be, outline. That'd be awesome. A, a guide for us to plan trips around. Yeah. And all of our trips, uh, we, we incorporate some really cool things. First of all, we don't go look at stuff. We do stuff. When we hike mm -hmm. Machu Picchu, we hike the Inca Trail mm -hmm. and everything, you know, so that fits into back into the age to find health piece. Sure. And we also, sure. we also do uh, one of our other um, big pillars is contribution. And everywhere we go, we find a way to serve in that town. That's pickup. excellent. Yeah. Have you done the gorilla trek in Africa yet? No. Well, we should do that. And there's all kinds of um, villages there that you can give back to as well. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's right up Tim's alley. Yeah. We could talk about this all day long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is good. I think we have some shared passion. So, let's um, move to, um, since we do have, you know, extreme accountability. Let's talk about that a little bit. I want to touch on that because I'm going to brag about my good friend, Pat Hyben. Pat Hyben is the master of extreme accountability. If you say you're going to do something to Pat, maybe he'll give you a pass and he'll question you on it first, second time. Third time, he'll call you out. He'll say, are you a false prophet of the highest order? <laughs> Seriously. Oh, no, I get to write that one down. Yeah. Are you a false prophet of the highest order? And somebody called me that once, by the way. That's how I got that. Yeah. <laughs> and and my other good friend David Osborne, we've been in we've been masterminding for years, and these guys are brutal. They're they're not nice in that way. We're we're good friends, as you can see, and we laugh a lot. But when it comes to helping each other be accountable for our lives, we really take it seriously. And we really hold each other to high standards. Uh, if there was somebody in GoBundance at an event and they were, you know, off in the corner with somebody that's not their wife, they would be ostracized. Mm. That's, yeah, that's just not who we are. We stand for, um, you know, my dad said, you know what's right, you know what's wrong, do what's right. And, and, and it's as simple as that. And that's what the, those are some of the concepts this tribe was formed around. And when you have people like Hyben holding, you know, those that come in as we grow to that standard, my goodness, it's wonderful. Sharon. That's great. Pat, you want to add anything? No, I mean, or just a bad pass know, I think, low. <laughs> yeah, see, that's like a huge benefit. I think that, uh, you know, it's so hard to just set a goal and make and make the goal without any accountability around a, any goal. You know what I mean? It's like if you if you want to lose 20 pounds and you don't tell anybody that you're trying to lose 20 pounds, you're not going to lose it. You, you know what I mean? But if you tell everyone in your life, hey, I'm going on this diet, providing you haven't done this like 40 times in your life and this is the first <laughs> time you're doing it or maybe second, um, and, and, and everybody knows – you're going to feel awkward eating a cheesesteak sub for lunch in front of them. You know what I mean? Cause they're going to be like, dude, what, what didn't you just say you're on a diet this morning? So um, the, the point behind that is it's, it's built in accountability. So at GoBundance, we have built in accountability and 
so much so that it's one of our pillars. It's one of the most important things about it and that uh, we do things, uh, challenges and, and, um, and play games and do things that uh, together, right, that, where we're going to be held accountable. We have a Peloton group, you know, which is, I don't have a Peloton, but I from what I understand, you could have, you have groups in them where you get to watch each other's stats, uh, who's riding the bike the farthest and the fastest and the most. And um, it's kind of like a Fitbit if you've ever in any Fitbit group. So it's, uh, uh, we've got things like that. We use an app called Spar, which kind of um, allows you to play games like we had uh, 30 days of uh, random acts of kindness. So we had 41 guys um, every day going out and like, um, you know, giving a barista at a coffee shop a $20 tip and taking a picture of it or, or helping somebody on the side of the road, um, you know, with something or, or whatever the case may be, a random act of kindness. And you had to document it every day. And if you didn't, it cost you $25 for just one day missed. And we had 41 guys doing that all at once. It's kind of neat just making this little section of the world uh, a better place. That's uh, fantastic. I love that. I'm going to check that out. So it's called SPAR, the app you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, S-P-A-R. I'll check it out. That's super. Hey, hey, another thing I want to say about that is we also have a really cool tool that we use. It's called the One Sheet. And it's kind of like your personal baseball card. And, and we're very transparent. We're very vulnerable. We know each other's net worth, um, how, much, how much you're netting per year, um, how much of that you're investing, what you give to charity, what percent of your income do you give to charity, and then what are your top five things that have happened in your life, what's your top five future hits, and just goes deep into who you are and we go over these, like there's pods that go over them on a very regular basis. Then when we all get together, we do it. So you literally do this, you know, probably eight times a year, analyzing your life and having it judged by others. Not judged, I don't know if that's the right word, but having it um, questioned and, and, and you're held to them. Yeah. At least yeah. Watched, and all of the you know? positive, yeah. In a, in a positive, you know, is this what you really want way? So I think it's a great tool. Well, and <clears throat> that kind of accountability um, built in also is you, uh, one of the things that I talk about that's so important in the world of business is that power of association, the power of um, opening doors for others, but also being there to support each other. And I think that um, that, that level of trust that you have cannot be discounted. Because in today's environment, to have a group of people that trust each other with their financial data and support each other, not just from an accountability standpoint, but from a vulnerability standpoint, is is very, very respectful. So I applaud you for that because not too many organizations go to that that deep of a level of, of exposure, to use another word. Um, your and, next and what's cool is, is, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to say the cool thing is, is the way the whole thing started, David and Pat were in a mastermind group back in the nineties. They met me in 2004. Then we grew to like, you know, nine of us by 2010. Then like Pat said, we coined it and we were 36. And the way it's grown slowly, organically, everybody that came in has got the vibe, you know? So, so now we've got this amazing platform in place of 200 plus badasses that that we know who we are we know what we're all about i'm way different from pat i'm way different from david but i want to help him be the best pat Hyman. he wants to help me be the best timbro and 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 it's just you know you can tell we're proud of what we created yeah i love i love that and then you you, you don't just use the word contribution you say genuine contribution is one of your um pillars, which I, makes me smile because it's so true. Talk a little bit about the, you already shared a little, but talk more about the general contribution. Tim, you talk about that because that's, that's your rally there. Well, um, there's, a, there's a lot of ways we give back and everybody in the tribe is generous in their own way. Uh, at the same time, I've created a nonprofit called One Life Fully Lived, the number one, onelifefullylived.org, and it's GoBundance's charity of choice. And like I said, we do things 
when we go into other countries and find other ways to serve. But my heart is taking what we're learning at GoBundance, how to be healthy, wealthy, generous people who choose to lead epic lives and lift and, and reach down and lift those that never get the message. And One Life helps. If GoBundance is uh, living at a mastery level, One Life helps people climb that first rung, figuring out vision planning, relationships, finance, and wellness. And you can get more information on that at onelifefullylive.org. And I'm going to give you a story. Like um, um, We have a lot of stories like this with our members, but there's a story that involves Tim. There's a guy, Daniel Ramsey, owns a huge company, My Outdesk, has over a thousand employees. And and he was going over his one sheet, which by the way, Sharon, a one sheet is like a baseball card. It's a, You look at the face on the front and you flip it over on the back and all the stats. And if the guy had a great year one year and a, and a crappy year the next year, it's going to show on there. And um, so that's what a one sheet is. And, and Daniel was going over his one sheet and he was blasting in all categories except the pillar of genuine contribution was at like a two out of ten. And Tim, Tim took him aside and, and essentially embarrassed him and, you know, just one on one and scolded him and said, dude, you're really lacking in that category. And, it, and he, he really had a sleepless night and he, he came out of it and he, he said, you know, I'm going to change that. And he went to a, a random school, not, not his school, but just a school in his community that had the absolute worst wrestling team. Um, and he was a wrestler in high school. And he, over a five year period, he built that team. Um, to win the national championships. Um, and, uh, and, and it took a lot of work. It was a daily thing that he had to do to go coach these kids. Um, but he totally knocked it out of the park. He brought his two all the way up to like a, a, almost a 10 um, in genuine contribution. And that's a, that, is a, uh, that is the epitome of the word genuine contribution. No, that's incredible. What an incredible, that's great. And, you know, some, some people get so busy building their own kingdom, they forget to give back. And so, I, you know, to have that as an, as an elemental part of your program is, is wonderful. We, I talk about six, success and significance, right? It's not just good enough to be successful. You've got to be able to give back. As you were saying, your dad shared with you, my dad always said, um, have you added value to someone's life today? So it's a huge mm-hmm. part of what I teach. And, um, and then your last pillar, which of course most people would think should be the first one, and that's horizontal, horizontal income. You both create a great success through real estate, multiple streams of income. Um, you know, obviously, that's a very huge tenant in what I teach. Um, buy, build, or create assets, um, understanding the value of income producing assets and um, the fact that um, as we whether or not we're entering a recession, the way to give yourself the financial stability is to have diversification across asset categories with multiple streams of income. So talk, obviously you've both achieved that at early ages, but share, share a little bit about that pillar. Well, the reality, Sharon, is right. Like most of the other pillars would be extremely difficult without the, without the pillar of horizontal income. So I, I do, I kind of agree with you. It's really first um, like if you didn't have horizontal income, you wouldn't be a Sharon Lecter wouldn't be able to go on all these bucket lists, do, do 25 or 28 bucket lists. You just, you wouldn't be able to, because you'd have to build vertical income. You'd have to be working. Um, you wouldn't be able to, you, 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 you can't go to, uh, you know, your kids, every single wrestling match and every single football game or cheerleading or whatever. You can't, um, you can't go camping with your children and grandchildren if you're too busy building horse, uh, vertical income. So um, all the pillars, you can't give back, right? Because, because you don't have time to give back and you don't have money to give back. So it's all of them are much more difficult without the horizontal income. So if you could figure out the horizontal income piece first in life, and Tim teaches a lot of this in early age, right? If you can figure out the piece, you know, he retired at 40, I retired at 46. If you could figure that out early, all, all the rest of them are going to fall into place so much easier because you, you have that void, right? And, it, and, and you got to fill it with something. And you're either going to fill it with something negative or you're going to fill it with something positive. And hopefully you fill it with something positive, which, is a, which are our five other pillars. 
I love that. You either fill it with negative or positive. Absolutely. Idle time, right? Time is our only precious resource. We don't get it back and they're either going to add value or, you know, waste it. So Tim, he, he, he shuffled off to you. So what, what, what's your feedback? Well, first of all, I want to make sure your audience knows what horizontal income is and Pat alluded to it, but he didn't really go deep. Everybody wants a bigger paycheck and that's vertical income. And go abundance and the people we surround ourselves with, we want lots of paychecks, and that's horizontal income. And and if you look at it, there's really five stages of income. And candidly, most Americans are at stage one. They don't know what in the heck they're doing. They have no clue. Uh, they don't know. You know, this is the basics. What's coming in? How can I increase it? What's going out? How can I not be frugal but monitor what's going in and going out? And and then um, what's left over to invest. And that's the basics, and most don't know that. Um, number two is level two is you're starting to get there. Level three is you got a few rentals, maybe you got a uh, uh, retirement set up. Level four is you get this and you're well on your way to uh, financial freedom. We want you to get to level five. When your ships come in, you've turned your cash flow game board over. And, and in our mind, that's when life truly, I don't want to say begins, but gets juicy and you get to really choose what to do with your time. And, and that's where uh, GoBundance is all about is, those, is, is helping those people in level four and level five, is they're, they're either near or at the top of that first mountain. And, and, and that's great, but it's like, what are you going to do with the second mountain? Once you're there and you have everything that society tells you what life's all about, then what? And that's what we're, you know, that's the mystery that we love helping people with that go back. So. I love that. And there's something that, uh, that, that power of choice, again, something that I focus on is, you know, the more income you make, well, then you have the choice of, are you going to employ it, deploy it or help others? And so, um, that financial freedom comes when you have income from assets exceeding your monthly exp expenses, but it also gives you the opportunity, the choice to do even greater good. And that's something I think that both of you live by. And it's quite obvious to the audience, for, the, for those of you watching and listening, that these guys walk the talk. They share what they've done. They, they want others to be able to do it. And they do it with such uh, an open heart and an open wallet to do good to help others. So I want to applaud both of you. And it's just been an honor to meet you both. And um, again, I hope this is the beginning of new opportunities to, to do more together in the future. And certainly, you know, Tim and I talked about his, his passion for helping young people, which of course you all know is a huge one of mine. So we're actually going to get together offline and talk about that as well. So guys, tell people how they can find you. So Sharon, the, the best thing you can do is, is go to tribeofmillionaires.com. That's tribeofmillionaires.com. It's very easy. You can buy our book, Tribe of Millionaires, on Amazon. It's $19.95 plus shipping. Um, but it, you're more intelligent to get it for free by going to tribeofmillionaires.com. All you got to do is pay the shipping, which is around 7 bucks, no big deal. Um, and uh, you'll get it for free right away. Uh, we took about a thousand copies, printed them. Um, we've got them in a warehouse and uh, we're rapidly going through them. We've gone through about 500 of them already. So try to uh, get the one of the other 500. And, um, and, the, and, that, and, and of course, you could check us out, like you said, at GoBundance.com or GoBundanceWomen.com. Um, my name is very, I like, I'm lucky because I'm the only Pat Hyben, H I B A N, in the universe right now. Uh, and, uh, so I'm very easy to find on all social media. Uh, they just type my name in. Super. And, and you're welcome to email me direct at Tim at TimRoad.com. That's R-H-O-D-E, Tim at TimRoad.com. And just reach out in any way we can help serve you, whatever level of mastery of all of this, whether you're at level one, two, three, four, or five, um, love to hear from you and love to see what you're up to and see how we can serve you so we can help you crush your finances and health and, you know, your holistic life goals 
So you get the gift of reaching down and lifting others. And that's what our world's all about. Well, I just love your messaging today, guys. I appreciate it so much. In fact, we've gone longer than I normally do just because I like, loved what you were sharing and appreciate that. Now, everybody watching, um, you now know how to find them. Please rewind and re-listen to this because tons of incredible information. And we're going to hang uh, hang on here for a few minutes because we're going to do another quick um, interview for the private Facebook group, Play Big Movement with Sharon Lecter. So make sure you go there as well. But please, when you listen to this, you're going to find incredible value. Share it with your networks. Let other people create this because these are two guys that walk the talk. And I'm proud and honored to know you to now. And I look forward to getting to know you better in the future. So all of you watching and listening, go out and have an incredible day. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Sharon. This has been a blast. This has been a blast. Thanks, Sharon. Thank you both. I really appreciate you both. Thank you for listening to this segment of the Play Big Movement podcast. Please subscribe to iTunes and leave us a review, as well as join us in other areas of social media, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, at Sharon Lecter, and for Facebook, author Sharon Lecter. Thank you so much and have a fabulous day.